Um, uh, there's a lot of mixed emotion, obviously. Uh, we've, we've come a long way in six months. Uh, my recovery has come a long way. Uh, but at the same time, obviously, like my life is very different than it was. Uh, it's been it's been really hard. Uh, there's definitely been days where you know um, I get frustrated, but uh, at the same time, it's like uh, you just you just have to take it one day at a time. You know, there's always going to be some setbacks, but uh, but yeah, just trying to you know take baby steps to 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 relearn all these things. Can you believe it's been six months? I can't actually. It feels like it, like no time has passed and all the time, all, a lot of time has passed. I mean, um, yeah, I almost feel like I've been disabled for years <laughs> already. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy to think that it was just in July that this happened. Let's go back to that night. Yeah. And what you recall as having happened. Uh, so I remember that we were, uh, we were dining on the patio uh, of Seven Numbers when a server came out to inform us that there, were, there was um, a shooter in the area and that we should come inside. Uh, we were uh, concerned and confused because, you know, we thought, you know, this can't happen here. Um, uh, a few minutes later, someone had rushed in to tell Jerry or will tell people that um, there was an injured party outside. And Jerry thought, okay, well, I'm going to go out and help. And I thought I should go with him. And so I, like, he had gone a few, he was a few steps ahead of me. And I had just taken one, maybe two steps outside the side door and across from me was um, Faisal. And he, uh, he shot me immediately. Um, and so I fell in the, uh, uh, in the doorway of the restaurant. And, um, and yeah, I knew, I knew at that moment that I couldn't feel my legs and uh, I had a feeling that it might be a permanent injury. And you would know that better than really anyone else because of your background in, in, in healthcare. I mean, you sort of yeah, like, had an understanding. I did, I did. And um, I guess in a way that that, like that background and training really helped me accept what's happened. And like, um, I guess I'm not, I'm not in a, in, a, in a way, because I've I've because of what I've seen, I know that people's lives are shattered all the time, and they don't. It doesn't get televised, you know, um, and they don't get like all this like emotional, even financial support from the community as I've had. So I feel really, uh, really grateful for that. Yeah. So you actually remember seeing the shooter? Absolutely. He looked right at you. He did. He did. And he didn't, he didn't hesitate. Like he didn't not waste time. Uh, it's almost like as soon as I made eye contact with him, he decided to shoot. You can yeah. still visualize it? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I mean, I try not to think about, I say I try not to, I don't have to try not to because I, I feel like I've gone over it so many times. So, um, I'm trying to fo focus not so much on that, but on my future and um, all the things, all the challenges that I have coming up. Do you have questions? About the shooting? I mean, not really, because I've, um, I don't think we can ever really fully understand what happened because he, the person who perpetrated the, those acts, like he's dead. Right? We can't, we can ask him, we can't ask him and um, yeah, so also like I'm, I'm kind of ready to move on, you know, I don't want to keep revisiting that and because I'm not, like I don't see myself, I'm sure like most folks see me as like a victim of this shooting, but like I was a whole person before this happened to me.
you know, like I'm ready to move on. I just really hope that people don't take this incident as, um, as evidence to kind of discriminate against any groups or against anyone. Like I don't want it to be um, ammunition for people to use against um, any particular ethnic groups or um, faith groups or anything like that. So, because um, I think this was someone who, you know, has very, like very extreme thinking. He, I think he was, um, uh, emotionally disturbed. I think anyone who can act out this way, um, isn't, uh, sorry, I think must have been going through something really dark. And so I can, anyways, um, so yeah, I don't, I don't think it's a good reason for people to discriminate others. I really hope that doesn't happen. I needed to forgive him and I have because uh, it, I don't have the energy to hate him. I need that for myself and for the journey I have ahead of me. So, um, so yeah, I've definitely, I, I've definitely done that.